Hi and welcome to another training video and in this video tutorial we'll be learning how to create assessment family 4 so you can find this in the intermediate class of the LMS portal and uh, there is a uh, assessment family 1, 2, 3 and 5 videos are available make sure to just check them out and so uh, before we proceed, as usual, I will need you to take a photo or a screenshot of this image because once I start modeling, I will um, kind of not show this on the screen. So you might need to have a picture that is able to allow you to reference from. Okay, so let's begin with this family and uh, new matrix generic model and we're going to create the reference plane this is for the length of the cabinet let's make it longer here and this will be the width of the cabinet okay here and an EQ and then create a parameter for the length EQ here and I'm going to create a parameter so this will be length and this will be width of the cabinet and I'm just going to create a shape extrusion over here and just lock all four sides of them press the green tick and I'm just going to change or update the length to the one on the assessment um, document so it says that it needs to be 1500 as well as 500 in width so that will be it so it looks something like that and I will go to the front elevation create let me think uh, two reference plane okay and this will be the total um, sorry total height of the cabinet and this will be where the cabinet will be the bottom will be the legs so parameter there will be height and this will be probably um let me think this say the cabinet maybe okay and i'm going to align it so my intention is to create a void extrusion from this view so I just want to take a look at the 3D before I create the for extrusion and this is perfect um, I will do the legs later I will create the extrusion first so I'm going to do void forms void extrusion and the center is okay so the frame for these four panels are at 20 mm each so uh, it's going to use the rectangle too and simply draw just four voids uh, not the very specific size don't worry um, but what I want to do is just to make sure here is 20 later on 20 here so I just lock this and uh, change this and lock this as 20 change this and lock this as 20 as well and the bottom one you don't really need to create a parameter because you can align and lock them together and also from the top and as well as the bottom is also a thickness of 20 20 lock the 20 lock the 20 um, align from the other side okay and for the center it will be 10 each because the distance between the gaps uh, distance between the void are 20 so you can just 10 from the left and 10 from the right side just going to change the scale to be a bit smaller so things will be more visible okay so 10 10 lock it and lock it wait wait a minute this one lock and it's the align command here and here and all four there's equal spacing between each shelf so all these should be symmetrical 
And in order to do that, I'm just going to create a formula. Okay, create a formula. And this will be um, probably cabinet. Cabinet. Cabinet height. And this will be cabinet height as well because they are um, supposed to be symmetrical, right? So if this is cabinet height, the bottom should also be assigned cabinet height. And for these two sides, I'm not going to assign because I can simply lock them here and here. So for the cabinet height, I'm going to use a pair, uh, sorry, a formula. So 20 for the top, 20 at the bottom, and 20 in the middle, which means that when I do the formula for cabinet height, I'll use, um, let me see, wait, before that, let me just cabinet. Okay, here it says cabinet. So cabinet height will be cabinet minus 60. Minus 60 divided by 2. Okay, and there you go. And I'll probably have 20 at the center. Excellent. You can see here, I just don't need to put a dimension and lock this because um, using the formula, there is uh, they will adjust in a way such that in between uh, the voids of the frames will be offset of or, th or thickness of 20 mm. So just keep the green tick, go to, go to the reference level, and it says from the picture that is uh, 30 mm offset from the back of the cabinet. So I'm just going to make sure that um, I can dimension 30. And once you do a dimension, you, when you click the, click the shape, you will expect to be able to click on a dimension to change the dimension, but you will find that it's not possible. So in order for that to happen, you need to click on the D associate work plane. And you need to click on the shape the second time. Okay, this time it's not working. So I guess you're going to try a different method. Instead of creating a dimension, I'm just going to create a new reference plane. That is uh, 30 away from the back. 30, not 10, sorry. And I'm going to lock the back of the shape. Or the void here to the reference plane for 30. Make sure you are selecting the right object. So the void is usually the one in a uh, orange color. Okay, the void is here at the moment. I'm just going to put it to the back so that I can align it and lock it to the front uh, reference plane. So this is the cabinet. And the last thing that we need to do is basic, basically the legs of the cabinet. Create extrusion. Um, the legs are circular, so I'm just going to, let me see, um, the legs, the diameter of the legs is 50, so the radius is 25, and they are offset 100 away from the front and back and side reference plane. So here I'm just going to write 25 because the diameter is 50, and I'm going to do the dimension uh, here as well as to the front, such that it is 100 away from its side as shown in the image. And I also need to make the um, legs sizes parametric, which means that the di diameter of the leg should be parametric, and in order for that to happen, I need to create a dimension for this, and assign it a parameter called probably legs uh, diameter. diameter of legs. So with this parameter, the user can change the size uh, to uh, anything that they want. So that will be here. I'm just going to make the scale a bit smaller again. So that's the first one. And let me see if I can mirror this. That will be much faster. Okay, it's not perfect. But uh, we can fix that. Okay, here I'm just going to lock it. Lock it and oh, I, I didn't lock the initial one, so just remember to lock the initial one because we are not going to create a parameter for that, and it must always be 100 away from the frame. So, we're just going to select everything and try to mirror them again. Um, some things are not mirrored, so I have to do additional steps here. Okay. 
um, lock them. Okay, and so this legs is done. Press the green tick, go to the front elevation, just lock to the bottom or bottom reference plane of the cabinet, and this shall lock to the ground or re reference level. And there you go. Let me see what else is required here. With length, height, diameter, material, and legs. So that is actually fine. And I'm just going to. Um, the legs is 500. Okay, so the legs should be 500 as shown in the image, the first image for assessment family 4. So let me see what we can do. The legs is 500. Aha, uh -huh. so the formula for our cabinet uh, will be height minus 500 because 500 will be the legs and it's going to be fixed. So press the OK button. So the legs is, if I do a dimension, you will notice that it's 500 which uh, fits the image. So 1500, okay, which is correct. Height at the moment is 1200, okay. And that's going to arrange um, some of these parameters. I like it that uh, the most commonly used one should be placed at the top. We uh, length and height and width should all actually be up there. And cabinet height, that'll be fine. And something like this will do. And I'm going to create, uh, before we that, I need to assign the materials for the cabinet frame. Here you go. And here will be material or cabinet material. And this shall be legs material. There you go. And I'm going to change this to furniture. Next, I'll go to the family types panel. Um, give it a type name, which is 1500L by 500W by 120H height here and under identity data I need to key in CBT-1A description will be books cabinet create a new one here 1500L by 500W by 1500H hmm. okay and just change the uh, parameters a little bit this will be CBT B and that's all press the OK button and that's how you create this family so see you in the next video